I like the way he treats his vocals. He has this like certain aesthetic that he's been going for for a long time, and it works. It's kind of like John Lennon in space. It is time. Yeah, you're watching Galaxy Jams Reacts. We're checking out Tame Impala. This one is Slow Rush. Very on brand for Kevin Parker and Tim Apollo. I really like the effects they have on everything. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. They have, sweet. Yeah. They have that um, wah that's going back and yeah. forth oscillator. Yeah, that uh, he's all over that. Um, the vintage equipment. Mm -hmm. Kevin Parker, um, very talented producer, and he mm -hmm. plays all the all the instruments on this stuff oh, too. Wow. So oh, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. That bass line is really cool to walk up on it. Yeah, I really like and I, and I like the way he treats his vocals. He has this like certain aesthetic that he's been going for for a long time, and it works. It's kind of like John Lennon in space. That's oh, what yeah, I call yeah. it. That's a good way of putting it, yeah. Yeah. That's a slow flange, actually, is what it is. Maybe even a phaser. Probably both. Yeah. I like that stutter beat. myself listening to this song just walking down the road on a Saturday afternoon like what's going on yeah like it just gets your pep the pep yeah. in your step kind of like gets you going just it's it's very down. psychedelic though so you yeah, might want to take a couple tabs before you <laughs> do that well why else would I be walking down the road on a Saturday <laughs> afternoon happy saying hey <laughs> Freaking out, man. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah, he's got a lot of feel. Love it. Yeah, that's sick. Cool. Oh, I like the way that ended. Yeah, that's cool. It, it ain't ended yet. It's not over yet. But yeah, the, 
Kyle, you, you do some of this stuff when we jam. Yeah, I love nice it. Nice little piano. Foirés. Sweet. Okay. That was a really good song. I, I see, really enjoyed it. I see why Mike was saying I would like them. Because I, yeah. I like them. And, and you like them off of a B-side. Yeah. You know, that's cool. It's not even one of their but, hits. You know? Like, uh, I think you, if you dug back, you'd, you'd find a lot that you liked by them. Um, I, if I could talk about Tame Impala, it would, it would take a while. But I'm going to try to condense it. Like... <laughs> Kevin Parker is is a genius. He started out as a psych rocker. It was more like garage rock, psychedelic rock. But the way that he affected everything was just um, kind of unique and had this style that transcended into his uh, later iteration, which is like pop forward. Mm -hmm. Like that's why it's been taken on it's uh, on the radio a lot and stuff like that is because he changed his production and his songwriting. I think um, for the for the better, in my opinion. Um, was this newer or older? This is new. This is brand new. Well, it was came out in 2020. It's like they released an album in 2020, and then they have a, a bunch of B-sides and tracks that didn't make it, yeah. some remixes. And, and he, and he, um, when, he had a long break between like a, a few of his albums, and people were always like, when's the next Tame Impala album? It's like one of those bands, you know, like mm. he, he puts me, he doesn't put music out like all the time, every year. It's like, he waits a good amount of time in between albums, and I don't know. I think he takes his craft very seriously, and I I see that when I or I hear that when I listen to it. So that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. We had some people vibing along on uh, the chat with us on that. Rachel Lure on 1989 said, "This is nice. I like it. <laughs> we like it too." Also, oh, yeah. um, Op Optimus Prime uh, said uh, he said like traveling down the road on a skateboard with some cranny juice vibes. <laughs> That's right. Instead of Fleetwood Mac dreams, is that what you're saying? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I got you, brother. <laughs> you should check out his Twitch channel. It's uh, pretty oh, cool. Oh, and also one thing, one band that uh, that track particularly reminded me of was Pond, which is another Australian psych mm -hmm. band that's in that. So if you guys like that, you should check out Pond. Also, just a little shout out, uh, the band Pond, I think, used to be the backing band for Tame Impala Live. Okay. So there's cool. like a, a, a crossover there. But... Um, if you guys really like that, check out more Tame Impala stuff and let us know what we should react to. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kai here with Galaxy Jams. I hope you enjoyed that React video. If you didn't know, we live stream a music improv show every single Tuesday, and we'd love to have you there. But if you want to hear what we sound like, just give us 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs>